Hi, this is Brad with Copper Creek Cuts, a lawn care company in Northeast Florida. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing the knowledge that I've gathered from my own personal experience, pressure washing over the past few years, and also in using chlorinating liquid or bleach. If you don't feel like watching this whole video, what I found is that as long as bleach or chlorinating liquid is one of the last things that you do before a rinse, it's gonna turn out really well. If you can get as much of the dirt off before you actually apply the bleach, it's gonna look really good. If you put bleach on at the very beginning and then pressure wash everything, that bleach will generally speaking, at least in my experience, not have enough power to really uh, clean the concrete. It, it's just gonna lay on that top surface of dirt. So that's, that's the quick bottom line. I'm gonna use the term chlorinating liquid. What is that? Well, basically it's a stronger concentration of bleach that you get in the pool aisle of your Walmart. I'm sure Home Depots would have them, Lowe's, pool supply stores, but that's what it says on the, on the bottle is chlorinating liquid. So that is a stronger concentration of the chemical that is also in bleach or that's known as bleach. So I think your bleach bottles that you would get that you know you would add to laundry is something like, it's some kind of single digit. I can't remember if it's four or five, whereas chlorinating liquid is gonna be closer to 10%, so it's much stronger. Since it's much more strong, it will burn you. You will have chemical burns if you spill chlorinating liquid on your skin. I've done it before. It is not fun. It just feels like your hands on fire. Uh, I've spilled it on my hands, wasn't wearing gloves. I didn't rinse it off right away. It sat on my skin and it actually ate away at the skin and I had uh, like a little bleeding blister area from the spot that I wasn't able to, to rinse off good enough. So it's, uh, it's very painful stuff. So you wanna wear gloves, rubber gloves, chemical resistant gloves when you're pouring it. You wanna wear safety glasses when you're pouring it in case of splashback. You wanna wear safety glasses when you're applying it. You also want to wear, depending on the type of sprayer you're using, you wanna wear some type of breathing protection. So today, I say today, the day I did this job, it was very windy. I use a Petra HD 4000 backpack sprayer, which I've got nothing bad to say about. It works great. It, produces a nice fine mist that coats a large area. It's battery powered, so I don't have to worry about a hand pump, but it does its job so well at uh, particularizing, I don't know if that's the word, the bleach, that the wind picked it up really easily. So there were instances where it kind of, it blew back in my face. So I, I only did that for about three minutes before I was like, okay, I need to go get my mask on. So that's why you'll see a mask in there. Just keep in mind that it's not some type of macho thing to work with chlorinating liquid or bleach without safety gear. It's irresponsible, it's dangerous, and it's not worth it. You could hurt yourself badly, you could blind yourself if it got in your eyes. It's just stupid really to do it. And uh, you see me here spraying without gloves, that, that was probably stupid too, because if, if that pipe ruptured or if there was some kind of a hose fitting that blew out, it would have sprayed all over me, so I'm doing a poor example here of, of showing you proper safety. But just have a good respect for chlorinating liquid or bleach if that's what you use. It's, uh, it, it can hurt you pretty badly. So now that all that mothering is out of the way, the next thing we'll move on to was the different things I did on this job. So I, I tried about four or five different experiments, and I'll cut to me talking about them during that day. But again, to reiterate what I said, as long as bleach is one of the final things that gets done, it's gonna look pretty good. You don't have to worry too much about the order. The very last sections I did, all I did was pressure wash everything twice with a surface cleaner, you know, make sure it got two quick passes, and then I put some bleach down and let it sit and then rinsed it off. It looked just as good as the stuff I spent three or four times on. The reason you would even wanna use bleach is because it's gonna hide streaks it's gonna clean everything up. If you did not use bleach, or at least if I did not use bleach when I was using the surface cleaner, uh, it's not gonna leave a good finish. It's gonna look really bad. And you could say, well, why don't you just use the wand? I've done that before, you can. The wand is going to destroy your hands and arms. You're gonna get a uh, Raynal syndrome, which is like a vibration-induced nerve damage. So if you spent, I think I was on this, this property for four hours, from start to finish, 
got to remember 10 or 15 minutes of setup, 10 or 15 minutes of breakdown. I had tons of camera work that I was doing. I stopped and talked. So probably closer to three hours worth of work. But that was mainly with the surface cleaner. If I just would have used the wand, that would have added probably another two hours. And I would not, I would have actually lost grip strength in my hands for the next few days. You know, I wouldn't have been able to open water bottles. That has happened to me from being on a pressure washer wand for five or six hours on a really long process. So that's one reason why you do want to use a surface cleaner. So you may say, well, I have to use bleach because I have to use a surface cleaner. I say you will, at least I have in my experience. It's just not good to hold something like a high pressure washer wand for that long. Remember to really rinse out whatever container you use for spraying it because bleach is corrosive. So if you don't rinse out your pump sprayer really, really well, you're going to ruin it. You know, all that bleach will sit in there, it'll eat up the metal, it'll corrode the seals, that kind of thing. So that's another five or 10 minutes of work you gotta do at the end to really clean that thing out and flush it all out. And then we get to the question, should you even worry about putting bleach down or pressure washing down. If you're a homeowner, I would say, try it without at first. You know, take your pressure washer, go to your driveway, see what it looks like. If you see streaks, then you might consider doing another pass on the pressure washer. If you've already done multiple passes on the pressure washer, then you might say, yeah, I wanna do some bleach. For a commercial guy, I think if you're a commercial guy, again, I'm only going off of my experience doing this in my little bubble of Florida, but there is a marked difference in the finished product of times I use chlorinating liquids and times I don't. So when I use it, I can tell, yeah, that's, man, that is a good looking product. If I use, you know, just the pressure washer wand, it still looks good, but it's a lot more work. Like I said, it beats you up. So I think if you want to use a surface cleaner, if you know, if you're just getting started and you don't have, you know, uh, real heavy duty stuff, I think you definitely want to look at, at chlorinating liquid again, but you got to be safe. Just be safe with it. This is 30 minutes of work and it's a little disappointing because I can still see streaks. I can see the faint outline of a circle right there. And I think it just comes down to my, my surface cleaner is too big for my machine. I even put down a uh, chlorinating liquid. It's still streaking. So I don't know. I'm going to try a, another round of bleach and go over it again. I'm going to let the bleach sit a little bit while longer. This is an instance where I'm not charging these people for it. We're just, they're letting me film it, but I still want to leave a good taste in their mouth. I don't want to say, oh, there were streaks everywhere when Brad was done. All right, so this is with a second coat of bleach and another rinse, a fast one. And I think this is a section where there were some lines before. I think that might have done it. There's still some of this acorn junk just, or I don't know what that is, honestly. Like that's just not coming off. I probably need some chemical I don't know about. So now the second experiment is, okay, can I just do, instead of one super long pass with the surface cleaner, another round of bleach and another surface cleaner, can I just do two quick surface cleaners? So this right here, like this took 30 minutes on the first time. This took probably less than 10. And of course it's smaller, but much, much quicker job. You can see there's a lot of streaks you can see. So now we're gonna do the second bleach here and another quick pass, and we'll see if that technique works. It's a little bit miserable not knowing exactly what to do, but might as well take the opportunity to find out. All right, so the next thing I'm trying is uh, no bleach, a quick pass, bleach, and a quick pass. So again, here's our bleach, slow surface cleaner, bleach, quick surface cleaner. Here is our bleach, quick surface cleaner, bleach, quick surface cleaner which actually turns out really good. This is going to be no bleach, quick surface cleaner, bleach, quick surface cleaner. And if you're not confused yet, I'm confused enough for the both of us. <laughs> so no surprise there, lots of streaks. If you can't see them, I can from here over, tons and tons. Maybe it's something where if there's too much dirt, the bleach can not actually get to the concrete and just sits on top. That's what this third test will hopefully show is if we do a quick, surface clean get the majority of it off yeah there's streaks but then apply the bleach that's what's that's what's oh my goodness i think i've been out here way too long i don't even think it's noon yet i've only been out here a few hours that's what the bleach is for to break down those streaks at least that's the idea so we're going to come back and we're going to bleach 
all this, let it sit for a little, and then surface clean it again. All right, you know what really stinks? This section right here was just two passes with the, uh, the surface cleaner, no bleach at all. And you know what? I don't even think it looks bad. Like, what do you think? This strip right here, it looks pretty good. I'm gonna leave it without bleach because we need a control. So we'll come back once everything dries or when I'm done and see what it looks like. All right, so last what we'll try is bleach on everything as it is now and a final rinse off. 